Hi Gemini, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Gemini with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's see what is happening this week for Gemini. What's happening this week? Okay, so this card wants to show. So you're getting good news, you know. Um, Six of Pentacles, money coming in. It's not like an overflow or an abundance of, but, you know, it's money coming in, money going out. This could be a loan or you're living off of loans or someone loans you money or maybe you loan other people money. Or maybe you're in a good place where you can do that. Um, the Four of Swords will say you're in a place where you can just kind of a uh, rest take a uh, vacation here or maybe you're taking your money and you're going on a vacation here you're planning vacation either for yourself or other people around you okay um maybe even for your birthday this is much needed for some of you what's the advice here for gemini what's the advice okay the ten of pentacles so you got money coming in you're good whatever it is you're doing you found financial security for yourself or your family um, you are focused on having money and um, having an overflow, an abundance of, okay? Let's see. What's the outcome? The awakening. So you could be dealing with a Piscean person or you're just waiting. You're waiting for something. It's a pause, you know, and you're reflecting right now, thinking about what it, it is you could do or bring into your environment to have even more or what it is you need to sacrifice. Some of you, it's like spiritual, for some of you, it's just like, you know, what do I need to get rid of? I'm going into my birthday season or it is my birthday and I don't want to take this with me. Some of you do a manifestation work here. Yeah, renewal. It's like you definitely, it could be with the Scorpio. You want to let something go. You really want to forgive this person and release them or release this situation. It's like you're really not trying to take this with you. It's like you want to go to the next level, but you know that you have to, you know, have... Um, absolution, absolve them, let go, really relinquish. Um, this also could, for some of you coming into your gifts of mediumship, here is what I'm hearing. Uh, psychic abilities, insight, a lot's going on for you. Uh, some of you could be in a birth year, 33, 22, you know, 44. Yeah, the high priestess, I'm telling you, you guys are doing a lot of work right now. A lot of energy work to bring in whatever it is you really want. Um, you're doing some, you know, occultist type of energy, especially with the uh, judgment and the high priestess coming up. You're trying to decide on something. Decide on a particular person. You're trying to listen to your, your spirit, your intuition, but you're also praying to spirit for guidance here. Some of you are going on a retreat. A spiritual retreat or you need to or you're going to some body of water and you're gonna do something while there that's you the knight of pentacles here you've been hard working on something um, so and then we have the eight of cups here so it's like that's a spiritual retreat spiritual journey you're going to travel to go on some type of spiritual retreat, spiritual journey came out. Um, it's like you don't know if you should really let a relationship go, if you should fight for it. This relationship has been altogether crazy, drama filled. It's not been the easiest. Um, it's like you're leaning on God's spirit, whatever it is you believe in your higher power to give you some type of insight um, sign. I heard game to move forward. I don't know. It's okay. Well, all right. Um, you also know that you need to let go of something because, you know, it's cyclical. It could even be karmic. It's going in a cycle, in a cycle, in a circle. Okay. In a circle. So that means it's, it's going nowhere fast. You're ending up at the same place at the same points all the time. Even, you know, if we just turn this in a circle, we're, we're ending up at the same point eventually, you know? So, um, for some of you, it's just like, you know, you need to let something go. It's, it's no linear. It's not linear. There's no growth. It's stagnant. It's stuck. Um, yeah, it could be dealing with a wealthy man. You are a wealthy man. Some of you are going on some type of spiritual retreat. Some of you are married to a wealthy man or you're trying to be. So you feel like somebody's dragging you along or dragging their feet. Um, 
something is ending the death of this could even be the death of your ego this is the death of uh, how you used to be you're going to go into a new phase something new is emerging for you last card for gemini yeah definitely traveling it could be over ground you're taking a road trip something that has wheels it could be also an airplane um the mature man so it's like you're coming back with a level of maturity uh, a level of uh, insight gained here reserve refined is what i'm hearing sophisticated very nice so this is what i have for you if it resonates for you let me know how it resonates for you and happy birthday um let me know if you're going on some type of spiritual retreat journey where are you going i want to go um, go over to the website, book your own reading there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also get, you know, the amethyst bracelet to accompany you on your trip. The amethyst is about healing, um, friendship, prosperity, self-love. Um, you can also get the black tourmaline protection, protective energy. Um, take advantage there on sale at the website level. The link is in the description box. Take care. Many blessings to you. Have a really good week.